A typical radiometric arrangement is consisting of two components. A radiation source that emits a beam of gamma radiation and also a detector capable of measuring this kind of radiation. In most cases, those two components are mounted on opposite sides of a vessel or a pipeline outside of the wall. Gamma radiation can be generated during the decay of a radioactive substance. To be more precise, a radioactive nuclide. In case of radiometry, normally cesium-137 or cobalt-60 are involved in this process. In a radiometric measurement, the radioactive nuclide is safely encapsulated inside a lead-filled shielding on the side of the source. Through a small opening in this shielding, the radiation beam can be guided in a specified angle through the vessel towards the detector. So let us now take a closer look on the schematic structure of such a radiation detector. The most important part in this measurement system is the scintillation crystal that is coupled to a photomultiplier unit. If now a radiation beam hits the scintillation crystal, light flashes are generated inside the material. Those light flashes are knocking out electrons at a photocathode at the top of a photomultiplier. Those electrons now get multiplied and converted into a measurable current. This electric current is dependent on the amount of incident radiation hitting the detector. For example, for a level measurement, a specified range of level can be mapped onto current values from 4 to 20 mA. This analog signal can then be used by your DCS, or your control system, or your PLC, your logic controller, for better automation of your process. Mm -hmm.